and you're just like, when oh, are we gonna see? Insane. What if we see that one day? Like a high right. level Fox Ditto that just goes yeah, to JV5, JV5 with, with, with the, like the no SDs. The closest one that comes to mind was PPMD versus Hacks at MLG. He takes the oh first three stocks without getting hit, and they both just start laughing. And because they know it's yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, <laughs> I think I know other sets where that happened. And that's every time I played Doctor PP. <laughs> <He> <laughs> yeah, almost, yeah. <laughs> that guy was actually untouchable. Yeah, you could touch him. No, you could not. In Fox Falco, especially, I yeah. felt like he, uh, you know, his brother was a Fox main, and he just yeah. never let up in that matchup. Yeah, I played him in pools one time, and it was actually the worst I've ever lost to anyone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've, n I've, I've never, never lose to people as bad as. <laughs> PP. Dr. PP in yeah. 2012 yeah. is so ridiculous, oh, but man. we are getting into our game here, Lef and Trephasia. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Okay. Ooh, kind of gets stuck in channel. I feel like Netmat's going to be a must as to anyone that mm -hmm. wants to learn how to beat Peach. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice angle, though. I think a lot of people would have automatically just oh. gone straight up. Trifaser expecting it, though. Really mm -hmm. good up air hitboxes. He kind of gets the reverse up air to send him back off stage there. Ooh, there, there. Yep. Oh my god, that shine would have been it. That would have been yep. it, right? Yeah, such a decisive edge guard. I think a lot of people let Peach get away with murder when she's recovering. Mm -hmm. Levin's one of the masters that doesn't let it get away with anything. Mm. Wow, patience by Triff here. Yep. Yes. Yeah, getting Peach yeah. cornered is only the first step, right? You gotta close out the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Looks like he covered everything there. It, it kind of looks like Leffen snuck under her, but he had to pick an angle that didn't reach the ledge to do so. So. Oh! Wow! Triff is playing so good mm. in the corner! But Leffen finds the up smash. Mm -hmm. Full jumping over the dash tag. Mm -hmm. So much of this matchup is not getting dash tag and punishing dash tag. Yep, yep. In my opinion. Yep. That's a good starting point in this matchup. If you're not sure how to punish her lagless aerials, just don't. Just kind of wait until she throws out the dash tag eventually, and that's going to be the move you want to punish. So Agreed. Yeah, that's good Agreed. Advice. There's one, but oh. Leffen. I mean, it's a very active move. Yeah. Oh, no, a trip. Oh. Not having the double jump off stage to you know, be able to recover higher than that. Ooh, accidentally air dodges, missed a wave line on the platform, and Trip is ready to pounce. Gets a lot of damage. Oh, he uh -oh. thought he could drift back on the stage. Okay, he's okay. That would have been tragic. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really bad. Leffen, I guess, opting to just kind of play it safe because I feel like he could have pushed that harder. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. Ah. D damage. Damage. That's so much damage. Damage. Just too oh. much extra credit here. Damage. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a free kill for Triff, dude. Oh. He was already floating in the right spot. Just had to press the A button to get the Nair out, and instead loses an entire stock for it. That's a two stock swing. Dude, and again, punishing the dash tag. Yeah. Spacing it out. Oh man. Ooh, the delayed double jab on shield. Oh, Leffen right now. Even that back air on shield was incredibly what? spaced. Whoa! So what? Le Leffen cannot miss right now. Yeah, please miss once. <laughs> Just miss please once. miss oh. once, dude. Okay. Leffen's looking in form in this matchup right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see why he doesn't even think about Sheik. Yeah, I feel like this is a matchup where Leffen doesn't even need to play good because he has such a good game plan, like a macro game plan, mm -hmm. that he ends up not needing perfect execution on the micro because he's just punishing dash attacks. He's just staying out of range. He's just making the big commitments when it counts, and it doesn't even require good execution. I feel like he's just playing perfectly without needing to play impressively, you know? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and, and Triff's going to need perfect execution and an adjustment to his game plan here. Really unable to deal with Leffen's platform pressure and overall movement. Yeah. And let's keep like in mind. Oh, just so, I, I feel like Le Fen's just so good at all. Everything that he does is low commitment. Like mm -hmm. all of his movement is always a threat, but always a very low commitment. Yeah. Very low risk. And I feel he's just so good at handling those. Like, oh, look at that layer, for instance. Right. That spacing, that that placement, going cr uh, crossing down his opponent, oh. and stuff like that. Always. Oh. Always. Oh. always oh. Low commitment. Low look commitment at that big moves. reward. Soft nair, soft bears. That's how it, what he starts the combos with, but he still gets the utmost out of it. I yeah. like no need for like a running up. Uh, uh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> running up smash is what I was gonna say, but yeah, yeah, it's just crazy how he can play so low commitment and have such high rewards on all his hits. Yeah, yeah. it was such an optimal combo route because he gets the knockdown. Crazy. He knows he's gonna miss the tech. It's like a tech trap yeah. and then up tilt up air. Unreal combo there by oh. left hand. They're jumping to bait Triff to jump mm -hmm. out because he knows he's not going to get a true up throw up air. <laughs> oh my god, oh, the dude. double. He is on top of him right now. 
This is so hard for Triff. I can't imagine how he's uh, going to come back in this one. Yeah. Keep in mind that Triff beat quite a lot of good foxes to get here, right? Mm -hmm. This is not, oh, this is a matchup. It's just Triff's problem matchup. He can't do it, you know? Like, this is a Leffen yeah. thing, you know? <laughs> well, really Sick ledge dash. dash. Going through dash attack there. Yep. Oh no. There, spot dodge, a classic. Mm -hmm. Fourth row dash attack. Interesting follow up, kind of a DI trap there. Whoa! Leffen's movement. Very good shorten as well. I don't think he wanted that up smash. Triff's <gasps> starting to struggle to do what he wants. It's just oh. untouchable. That's crazy. Yeah. He's just. Oh, oh my that god. Could have oh been enough smash out of shield, oh, but he no. gets that anyway. Even double shining just in case a shield grab a shield grab comes out. Uh, no, his still pressure. Gets the up smash, like come on, yeah, man. It's, oh, come on. He might get he might get the four. <laughs> he might get the quattro, I think he's dude. The four, dude. He might get the quattro. Okay, here's finally a grab from Trev. Nice. It's a grab, but you know, like like I always say, the chain grab does a lot of damage, but it doesn't oh, okay. kill. He has to edge guard it. He does. Really good edge guard there. This time presses the nair fast enough to beat the side B. Dude, but what what do you do here? I yeah. mean, it just feels like the game three is a foregone conclusion with Leffen being up to whoa. <laughs> oh god. JV. <laughs> I think he took 30 damage from lasers. Oh. <laughs> 40 damage from lasers. He just oh! oh! my god. Just up smash in place, dude. Come on, man. Oh. Leffen right now. Breaking the, breaking the sound yeah, waves. Breaking I mean, breaking, <laughs> yeah, the sonic boom, dude. <laughs> I don't know if our production can handle this play right now. Yeah, this uh, fox. Um, production, Triff, everyone's struggling right now to keep I, up with I, I just don't see anyone else in the world making Triff look like this. I don't it's see true. any other yeah. fox. I can't think of a single fox that I expect Triff to not at least take a game off of, make it very close with, if not outright destroy. Yeah. Triff and definitely like has a style Leffen that's just, just hard to play against, and mm -hmm. Leffen is making it look like it's not hard. Like, Dude, he's making it look so easy, I, I don't know. get it. It's, it's so crazy. It's difficult to it's do what crazy. Leffen's doing right now. I have no idea how... Shine grab. Mm -hmm. Back to FD. I like it sticking to his guns here, but it went so poorly last time. Mm -hmm. But he knows it's probably his best bet in the matchup. Was that a power shield down smash from Drift yeah. that didn't even hit? Like, even oh, when he does no. the crazy stuff, it doesn't work. I know. Mm -hmm. He wanted to bait, yeah, because, you know, drill into the ground, they can sometimes get a move out, so he walked away from it. He did. Yeah, I think I heard. Well, is that Fauster? Yeah, I, I was just going to say, like, one thing that you me the most. Oh my god, that we treat that. <laughs> it's like. Peach is so good at trading moves, mm. but Triff actually cannot trade any yeah. move. Like, there is no trade action in those True. games. Oh, really nice oh. edge guard there. Confidence to go out there and get the read. Triff needs to get some confidence back, dude. He does. Because, like, when you're getting beaten this bad, sometimes you stop doing the things you're even known for. And Triff needs to go out there and get some of that win back in the sails. Fauster's point is actually so true. It's like, you're used to seeing Marth. He has a sword. He can just beat Peach outright, right? But Fox normally, like, he has to get those trades. And, and wow, it's hard to avoid, but I feel like Leffen's Fox has a sword while he's just flying around the stage. Right. He <laughs> makes it look so safe. Yeah. Right? Oh, there's a trade. Or a CC down mm -hmm. Yep. Goes for the Nair. There we uh -huh. go. Try to get max distance side B. Okay, Triff, yeah. looking alive. Did that a stitch? Oh, oh it, it was. was. That would have been crazy if he picked it up. Oh, nice, nice pressure. Double jab. Mm. Oh. Or their jab will actually beat roll if you try to buffer it out. So you got to hold shield a little bit longer. And that's not what you want to be doing against her. So really good mix up by him. Ah, but that's a big drop on that back throw oh. by Triff. It's so good at reacting to those fairies. Oh. Whoa. As soon as it's oh, the beginning yeah. of the fair, it's jumping on the beach to make a nair or something mm -hmm, to just mm -hmm. stop her to take the crown out. Oh, and he finds the up throw up air. That's not a true combo. You saw it. Triff started a float. But earlier we saw him bait out the double jump. So mm -hmm. he's been conditioned mm -hmm. now not to just waste his double jump in those spots. And then Leffen's like, ha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. okay, like you said, Toph, this won't kill, but it should give him a good edge guard opportunity. Mm -hmm. Oof, just sneaks the ledge there. One more try. Soft dash attack. No, doesn't get it. And there's the Nair. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Picks it up. Still anyone's game. Oh, turn, great turn, turn up throw. throw. Yep. Yeah, out of shield. Mm -hmm. Into the up air, Ooh. into the dash deck, into the forward air. Huge combos. This is going to be Triff's game. Ooh. Oh, how much can Leffen get off of this jungle situation? Really hard for Peach to come down. Yep, she makes it down. Oh, oh, oh. forward air. Creative. Oh, is that what he's yeah, was, Oh, my God. Good smash, yeah, at least. 
Looking the best out of that combo, but... Oh, no way. A smash. Oh, he oh, goes Oh, he the get-up attack. Oh! And he finds the up smash. Oh, yeah. oh. He knew Triff wanted to back air down onto the stage yeah. there. Really good stuff by wow. Leffen with that dash back up smash. 3-0 in the set. Good work by Triff, though. We almost yeah. counted him out, and he definitely could have taken that second FD match. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm glad he came alive game three, because game two was painful to watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. God, it was. I mean, <laughs> what a set. What a set. I've been saying that all day. What a set. set. <laughs> the fastest set in the day, in the day was with Peach. Right. Was yeah, with Peach. So true. <laughs> if you have a local Peach that you are struggling with, just put this VOD on repeat when you mm -hmm. go to sleep, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was insane. Some left and peach ASMR just <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Man, there was one interaction I was so impressed by that we didn't really get to talk about, which was when Triff did single jab on left and shield and he did wave dash forward mm -hmm. and got a shot like Triff did jab dash back. Yeah. And left and hard called out that exact option. I mean sometimes Peach will go for jab down smash and if you wave dash forward into that. Yeah. Because I, I imagine he's doing wave dash forward, ASDI down as he does it to, yeah. to call out the second jab, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, but it seems so risky. We saw that happen, too. He did do this delayed second jab and hit Leffen at one point. Mm -hmm. And that's also percent dependent. Uh, the time he did that, Leffen was over 100, so he got knocked down by the second jab. If you're lower than that, you can just wave dash forward CC the second one, which is kind of what you're implying with the ASDI down there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's like the interactions are so deep because they're so percent dependent and so and position dependent. So And there's never, and I feel like in that particular example, there, there isn't really a risk-free option because again, mm -hmm. if they do yeah. if they do jab down smash, you're getting yeah. obliterated. Yeah, if, if she does jab grab, you're getting obliterated. If you don't right. Shield. So, yeah, you kind of got to do something. And if if you have it in your mind that you should be scared and therefore you never commit, you're actually more in trouble, right? Like, yeah. you got to do the commitment sometimes because that's what gets you out of some of the other situations. Makes so, sense. Yeah. Uh, dude, I want to I want to call out Leffen's 5.3 openings per kill in Fox Peach. Brutal. I was thinking the same thing. That was such a low number in that matchup. Yeah. Brutal. Outpacing Peach and Punish, that's just... Yeah. My, I mean, that's monstrous, dude. Yeah, most common neutral opener being down B, that's Fox's combo starter, mm -hmm. right? Like, you see a lot of times in this matchup, Fox struggles to get CC'd because he's back airing a lot, or he's struggling to get the combos because he's narrowing a lot. Mm -hmm. But this time, he's getting wave shines as his most common opener. Like, that's how you get 5.3 openings per kill, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not sure if, if Leffen would drop a single uh, wave shine combo yeah. that set. Really incredible execution by him. And like he said, th though, his game plan is so solid. I feel like he could have dropped a couple. Yeah, exactly. And he would have been just fine. I think he was making execution errors. That wasn't like a flawless game from Leffen, but it just, the execution, it, he was never in a spot where he had to be frame perfect to win the game. Exactly, right? you know? exactly. Like, yeah.